Hello YouTube, this is Landon, also known as Red Hat Takes, and here we are with another video, it's kind of off the cuff, with the news that the NFL and the NFLPA finally decided on a punishment for Deshaun Watson, being fined $5 million, getting suspended 11 games, and it just feels completely unjustified. For whatever you may think of Deshaun Watson, maybe in your eyes he committed these honestly disgusting things. And were he to actually be proven in a court of law to have done these things, he would rightfully be in jail and it wouldn't matter what the NFL did. He wouldn't play at football ever again. But again, I keep coming back to the fact that he was found there. They weren't going to charge him by a Texas grand jury. They weren't going to charge him with anything. Now, there's a lot of people out there that would say, oh, they just totally botched it up and that they're just choosing not to charge. That's just idiotic. You can't just charge people because you hate them and you think they did bad things. Without evidence, you can't charge somebody for something so horrible. You can't ruin someone's life because did so horrible. He again, he has always maintained his innocence in this. He's even apologized that for allowing something like this to be perceived as happening. Now, to, those are not mutually exclusive. Both things can be true at the same time. He can be totally innocent, but he can also be sorry for the situation that is created as a result of his actions or whatever these women think he did and maybe they did maybe there's evidence out there that he actually did these vile crimes but as far as I know there is nothing that I have heard of so therefore the NFO is just again there being a bunch of Karens caring about um, me too Shit, me too is dumb. Have evidence. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for any woman that has ever gone through this. If you actually have proof that something has happened to you, bring it forward. Bring it to the police. Bring it to the police. Don't bring it to social media in order to ruin people's lives. That's really dumb, and you lose all credibility. Do not be an Amber Heard. I don't want to bring Amber Heard, the Amber Heard situation in this, but she, well, her Johnny Depp did nothing wrong to her, and she did everything wrong to him. So, again, to get back to Deshaun Watson, again, it's just, I have no love for the Browns. I, I'm, it's, it's funny that he's not going to miss games for them, and they're probably not going to be in the playoff hunt this year. Full stop, the Browns are not going to the playoffs that they do. Again, it's probably one of those Satan things, you know. But uh, Sean Watson is innocent and to proven guilty. We need to bring that concept back. It's still the United States of America, and everybody's innocent until proven guilty. Stop trying to ruin people's lives over allegations that may or may not be true. Please, I beg you, to stop. That's really not fair. It's awful. And to those women out there that this may have happened to, bring evidence forward. I know you, you supposedly brought evidence forward in Texas to that grand jury that he was on, but they didn't find enough to charge him. You can't fault people for not having enough evidence to charge them. This is not one of the... the why don't you go after the real sexual assaultists in the world? Again, the Harvey Weinstein's of the world and the Kevin Spacey's. Yeah, I know Kevin Spacey's going through stuff right now, but it's far too away. They, you waited way too long for all of this. Stop trying to ruin innocent lives just because you're a woman and you're a fucking gold digging bitch. These accusations have to stop. I will go to my grave defending Deshaun Watson. 
until I have actual evidence that he actually did something wrong, then I will change my mind. But I'm not wavering on this. He is innocent because there's no evidence to the contrary that says he is completely guilty. Hearsay is not a reason to ruin people's lives. Please stop and get on with your life. I understand your life may be horrible. That does not mean you get to ruin someone else's to make yourself feel better. It's really terrible and yeah, honestly, you deserve everything that's coming to you. If you're going to ruin people's lives for faulty reasons, then you deserve every every bad thing in the world that may come your way. I know I'm kind of rambling about this, but 11 games just seems completely excessive. I mean, he really should be getting zero because, again, he was found innocent in a court of law. And the NFL has lost all ability to partially judge suspensions. I mean, look at, I mean, I love Alvin Kamara for the Saints, but he, he, uh, he actually has a arrest on his record and there's actual evidence of him in a fight, in an assault, and now his, oh sure, now true, there's a, actually a court case in the same court that he, he is in, so that his is being pushed off, but still, assumedly he's going to get suspended, but that would be probably righteous, but Deshaun Watson doesn't have any bad thing on his record. Here's again, hearsay is not a reason to ruin a life. And I'm sorry if this is I'm sorry if this if this is uh, controversial, but I'm not wavering. Come at me if you think I'm wrong. Let's discuss it. And let's come to a reasonable compromise. Apparently that's what the NFL oh no, and the NFLPA did. It's just Plus, I don't understand how a, a six game went all the way up to an 11 game. It doesn't make any sense. But in the risk of rambling on anymore, if you're happening behind this video, consider watching it, give it a like, share, and then hit that, sub, hit that bell notification twice to make sure you're subscribed and then you get all my future video updates. My social media websites will be in the description. And other than that, have a great day. I'll be watching the Packer preseason game tomorrow and it put doing a review about it or my impressions on it. That should be up on Saturday. So until then, have a great day and God bless.